last week, you may have caught our chat with Geotab in which we got to know a little bit about the company and its expertise in fleet management, vehicle tracking and telematics. Today, we're back with Geotab APAC General Manager Deepak Kadambi for a deeper look into Geotab's work with governments and businesses. Welcome Deepak. Hello, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. So we'll get into the first question. Um, last week we spoke a wee bit about Geotab's uh, innovation in EVs, um, particularly in areas such as connected card data and telematics. So could you explain how Geotab uses these technologies um, in business and government operations? Absolutely. Um, so uh, from the smallest of fleets to the largest of fleets, you know, Geotab obviously, like I mentioned last week, we support a vast, uh, you know, set of organizations and we help their goals uh, in achieving safety, sustainability, efficiency of their use of vehicles and so on and so forth. The key ingredient in, uh, in helping us do that is our ability to use data in making these decisions. It's like, you know, I, I, like I alluded to last, last week, you know, we look at the data uh, we help them make not only operational decisions, but also things like, you know, purchasing decisions. How do we reduce the total cost of ownership? All of this gets empowered by data. And that is across the globe, whether it is a private sector or a public sector uh, customer. Specifically, mostly, most of the conversations last week were around the private sector, uh, at least in my mind, that's kind of how I viewed it. This week, I'll focus a little bit more on the government side of things, right? Over 2,000 government agencies and departments, you know, uh, we we support across the globe. You know, uh, the kind of governments we support, uh, kind of government initiatives we support include, you know, whether it is working with the first responders. Uh, we provide active tracking that allows dispatchers to follow through emergency vehicles in real time. We also work with public works in uh, you know winter operations, uh, whether it is, you know, snow plows. Uh, street cleaners, uh, you know, salt dispensers, and so on and so forth. There are various ways in which we can utilize our data and combine it with other data to make their operations that much more stronger and better. Uh, and lastly, we've also been working more and more with governments as they are planning infrastructure as well. So these are the ways in which we are working with, uh, you know, private and public sector customers. Excellent. So it might seem an obvious question, but I do want to ask, why is this work so important? So if you look at, you know, what's the transportation footprint, whether it is air, water, road, all the geotab focus is mainly on the road. They contribute a significant portion uh, of the GDP, right? Uh, you know, whenever there are goods, the goods need to be moved. And the more efficiency you can build into that, uh, you know, into that infrastructure, you act one more responsibility, uh, responsibly, uh, more profitably, and you bring in efficiency and so on and so forth. And depending on uh, who you ask, you know, for five to seven trillion dollars uh, of GDP is uh, it can be attributed to transportation. You know, and then oh, that's on the macro scale. And then when you boil it down, you have mandates that each government, whether it is a small council or a, a large country that they start having, right? Whether it is electrification, whether it is, you know, uh, reducing the number of assets they own, you know, whether it is a vision zero uh, or service level maintenance on how the road, road should be. So there are certain, uh, you know, uh, things that the government wants to do so that they can kind of build in that efficiency as well. So our, our ability to kind of, you know, with over two point, close to 2.6, uh, you know, million assets on the ground, our ability is to collect that on ground intelligence that we can utilize either to our, you know, private customers or to our government customers in trying to address address each of their pain points when it comes to these things, you know, we we even work with cities on uh, you know either improving or expanding their infrastructure, for example. So that is why it becomes that much more critical. You know, uh, a large portion of the of the human life is dependent on transportation, 
And if we can make it that much more effective utilizing data, it's a it, it's our responsibility to the world, right? So. Yeah, exactly. So uh, let's put this into a context. Can you provide some of some examples of the work you've been doing with governments um, and particularly how they use this information to make critical decisions? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'll give you about three, four examples. You know, for example, New York City. New York City, uh, we are currently tracking over 22,000 vehicles for them, right? Over the last five years, we've reduced the number of fatal accidents by about 75%, right? And that's a massive value. You know, the cost of human life is obviously, you can't put a price on it. So that's what we've done with uh, the New York government. The Madrid City Council, which has a fleet of 19 electric vehicles, we've managed to reduce the CO2 emissions by 60% by working with them, right? We, we help the, the governments not only uh, electrify their fleet, but also manage them efficiently in order to kind of reduce the carbon dioxide emissions for them. Um, the third one is the city of uh, Seattle, right? In city of Seattle, uh, the city claimed that Geotab, uh, using Geotab and Geotab's data and Geotab's value proposition, they were able to save $2 million in fuel and in, and that the increase in the cost that they had uh, used due to electrification was, you know, about hundred thousand dollars more, right? So it was like a massive uh, drop in uh, in the the operational expense of a city that can be deployed to, you know, other co causes or you know other projects that can be that can bring a lot more value to the society. You know, uh, last but not least, city of Utah. We do work with many other uh, uh, state of Utah. We, we do work with other states as well, like California and such. But you know, there we reduce the annual maintenance costs uh, for the state by about ninety thousand dollars. Right, the the first party collision costs declined by uh, uh, collisions costs just declined by about twenty percent as well. So these are ways in which not only are we making the operations uh, more successful, but we are also building that much more efficiency in, in dollars spent that can be deployed to more important causes as well. So those are some of the examples. Those are some fantastic achievements, well done. So we're looking uh, forward a little bit here. Um, can you maybe share a little bit about your plans for the future? Yeah, absolutely. I used to be a transportation uh, planner and a designer in, in, in my life, and data was uh, uh, was always a little bit of a, ch a challenge for us. We have a business unit called Geotab Ideas that leverages data and you know supports people like what I used to be, a transportation planner and so on and so forth, who work with governments in order to develop transportation uh, infrastructure initiatives. So we actually have spun out a business unit that supports the governments and the transportation planners in order to help more efficiently build out infrastructure. So that's one. Um, the other thing is, you know, video telematics is becoming, is proliferating all over the world. How do we bring our data to make that value proposition that much more stronger for, uh, you know, our, uh, whether it is our partners or the end customers? That's, that's another area we're looking at. Uh, and then, you know, uh, OEMs or, um, you know, vehicle manufacturers, you know, we are working with many of the vehicle open uh, uh, OEMs in order to become the preferred connected vehicle technology partner, because to them, we bring that prowess of data and not only the capability, but also different data that can help them, uh, that can make us a better partner as they are trying to, you know, uh, build vehicles and such. The bottom line is um, we want to continuously strive to unearth the value uh, for our customers leveraging the data that you know we we tend to have. So that's uh, that's our goal. Perfect. So we've been speaking with Geotab's APAC General Manager Deepak Kadambi uh, once again today. Thank you so much for joining us again, Deepak. Thank you. Appreciate it.